Coronavirus, or commonly it's called COVID-19. It's a large group of viruses that are common among animals. In rare cases, they are what scientists call zoonotic, which means it can be transmitted from animals to humans. The symptoms are more or less similar to other influenza viruses, but course of disease is more fulminant, leading to development of pneumonia and respiratory failure. So today, our discussion is going to be based on the impacts of this virus and by that, creating a tough situation for everyone. First, we will be looking over at the impact of globalization in UAE and also its role in the wake of this pandemic. Okay, so let's get started. The UAE is renowned for its rich cultural heritage heavily manipulated by Arab and Islamic traditions. Speaking of globalization in UAE, as a matter of fact, UAE-based firms have been affected by globalization resulting to various measures being undertaken by such firms, so as to remain in competitive businesses. Although globalization in the UAE has led to creation of numerous job opportunities which has attracted expatriates into the country and as well as the advantage of this globalization includes free trades, better communication between nations, and increased access to technology, media, education, and also consumer goods. In the UAE, like in any other countries, the coronavirus pandemic affected every industry and the UAE economy is expected to shrink by 6.6% this year and as of lower oil prices are weighing on the country's finances. According to IMF, the government expected to pose a deficit of 9.9% of GDP, up from a 0.8% shortfall in 2019, and we are expecting 1.3% growth in this year. COVID-19 and its positive and negative impact on environment and world's market. The COVID-19 pandemic and resulting restrictions imposed to fight the spread of the disease have provided some short-term positive impacts on the environment. These include temporary improvements in air quality, lower greenhouse gas emissions, and lower levels of noise pollution. However, the assessment also stresses that there have been negative consequences such as increased use of single-use plastics, and that ways out of the pandemic should focus on reshaping our unsustainable production and also the consumption systems to achieve long-term environmental benefits. As an example, we are seeing many negative effects, such as the abandonment of environmental and sustainability programs, less waste sorting practices, increasing online purchases, and an increase in the consumption of single-use plastics. Experts are also predicting that once lockdowns are complete, countries will focus on rebuilding their economics as quickly as possible, which often means funding industrial activities that take us several steps back on a sustainability scale. In fact, many warn that as countries recover and begin rebooting their economies. In the other hand, COVID-19 has had a really big effect on businesses. As business activities are slow, some companies are seeing lower revenue resulting in less cash flow. During the economic uncertainty, managing cash and liquidity positions may be crucial in the weeks ahead. And due to that, companies seek to terminate their employees and start cost reduction processes. Now, Let's have a look at the third impact of COVID-19 and let's try to find a solution for it. Between the end of February and mid-April, more than 1 billion items of personal protective equipment were given out in the United Kingdom alone. That's millions of gloves and masks being used then thrown away every single day, just in UK. So it's not difficult to see why conservationists around the world are sounding the alarm over where all these single-use products are ending up. Waterlogged masks, gloves, 
hand sanitizer bottles and other coronavirus waste already are being found on our seabed and washed up on our beaches, joining the day-to-day detritus in our ocean ecosystems. Nearly 8 million metric tons of plastic and waste are dumped into the ocean every year, along with the massive amounts of pollution from other sources such as oil and gas. Based on current trends, plastic is expected to triple within the next 20 years, adding up to 50 kilograms, that is 110 pounds, of plastic waste along every meter of the world's coastlines. One of the solutions is that by understanding that recycling is crucial, reducing your plastic use is the most effective way to prevent new plastic from entering the ocean. Wherever you can, try to buy products that can be reused many times, such as food storage containers, bags, and even face masks. And the second solution is to make sure that you're properly disposing of COVID-19 waste, and whenever it is safe, try to use reusable face masks and ask restaurants not to give you plastic utensils when you're ordering takeout food. You can also neutralize your carbon footprint altogether by purchasing carbon offsets, which are reduction in greenhouse gas emissions to compensate for emissions made somewhere else. These offsets support conservation activities such as forest restorations or reforestations that naturally store or remove carbon from the atmosphere. And lastly, it can be over by cleaning up the oceans. Thank you. Thank you.